Yo, what's up? Hey, you guys know I don't post on YouTube that much, but after today, I just got done trading. I had to talk about this. Literally two weeks ago, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put a thousand bucks in Robinhood, see what I can do, just play around with it. You guys know I started trading options, got into futures, and now that's really my thing. But I was like, all right, you know, let me just test it out a little bit. Please subscribe, because I kind of just don't know if I should still post on here. <laughs> 1k to 20k in two weeks bro <laughs> steph you full poor you over leverage okay look i did over leverage a little bit but let me put you through a little perspective from my point i was gonna put in fifteen thousand dollars because i just wanted to actually start to build up an options portfolio again but then i was like you know i'm gonna put in a thousand see what i can do with it just have fun with it it was it was play money all right a thousand bucks so i'm like and i started doing good with it and i was like okay i'm just gonna keep going because it was just a thousand bucks it, it wasn't really anything to me i still planned on putting fifteen thousand in and my position size is usually going to be around three to four to five thousand dollars this is going to be for anybody with a small amount of capital that wants to get into options to see if they can make some money with it or you already do and you just want to find out how i changed my capital so fast nothing about this was luck i follow a very strict set of rules i even alerted these in my discord so if you want to just continue growing this with me you can go ahead and pop in there i've been on an absolute heater though yesterday called it 100 percent play today i called out two <laughs> Also, just got some paintings for my living room because it sucked and I moved my desk out of my bedroom. I don't know why, man, you work from home, but you just kind of have to like refresh yourself every time, but the room is not looking good right now. I actually talked about this in my Discord this morning, kind of broke down all of my trades and really been looking at how I can take advantage of this and show it to you guys as well. There's a free version of my Discord and also a paid version where you can trade live me every day, get my alerts and also be mentored by me and four other really good, better traders than me, to be honest. But if not, it's cool whatever you want to do because i'm not doing anything crazy i'm not doing rocket science i'm not doing anything you know any eureka idea i'm just trading how i really should that's why i love options because you have so much leverage i can really put everything against it managing them correctly is what it's all about and if i can do that and i put myself in a good position i can make huge money just like i've done in the last two weeks we're gonna break down my last three trades all over 100 percent, and i'm gonna make sure you have everything you can to possibly go do this yourself whenever you like and like i said i alerted these so if you think i'm capping you don't think i'm telling the truth bro i got receipts just know i'm never trying to make myself sound smarter than you or like flex my money to you i just want to show you what i've done to make a couple you know grand in the last two weeks and you know make sure that you can too my goal has never been to just sound like some you know <laughs> guru i guess we're gonna look at snowflake right here this is a software technology company and you're gonna see that i really cook this thing all week if there's one thing you can ever get to help you and put yourself in a better position it is outside factors in the market now that we're trading options there's actually outside things that are gonna happen news certain earnings different companies doing bad things or good things that are going to affect your individual stocks unlike nq or es when i'm trading futures there's not a lot of range and variety i can have it's just those two indexes that i really ever even look at i can find these individual companies and see any exterior factors i can find to give myself an advantage in the market snow unfortunately fell victim to crm crm is a other software company and they dropped earnings this week now let's talk about this you have a girl in school that you think is fine turns out her three other friends are all bops so in your mind, you think this is okay, but in reality, she's probably a bop too. Guilty by association is what I'm saying. Snowflake, the company that we traded today and yesterday is completely falling off the shelf because CRM had a really bad earnings announcement, falling 20% in one day. We're gonna add on to this, so don't just walk away with that, but just know if you have any exterior factors that you can ever take advantage of in the market, you should always try to do so, as long as it cooperates with the strategy you haven't planned right now. The second and most important thing, and this is really, it's gonna apply to all of your trades because sometimes you're not gonna have those factors, is focusing on the trend of the day. Something that's really going to help you with this is waiting till the afternoon to take these options trades and maybe do something else in the morning. I trade futures the first hour of the market and then I switch to options later in the day. The reason why is because in the morning there's a lot of volume really could be choppy or really good or really bad. You don't really know what's going to happen the rest of the day until you wait until the afternoon to find the actual trend. Caught 20 points on futures this morning too, which, you know, we ain't going to talk about that. Just so happened that every time we took these trades, these two indexes, SPY and QQQ also were tailoring to the downside. It's so important to make sure that you have the trend established because at that point, market is going to move very smoothly. And hopefully if you find a good trend, you can catch a great expansionary move like we just did on this trade right here. Something so important to look at is please make sure that this is also cooperating with the trend of the day. So snow obviously right here, very bearish, just like the indexes that at the time I was looking at. Stocks like Tesla, I don't recommend you trade really anymore. I used to like it a lot. I don't, to be honest, just because of the fact that sometimes Tesla is going to do its completely own thing. And if you are looking at the overall market and sometimes this is what I did beginning of the week and took some losses actually was I thought I saw Tesla was going down and I really liked to continue with that. And the market was bearish and Tesla was bearish. So I decided I'm going to take shorts on Tesla. But since Tesla is very volatile and it does whatever it wants, I actually took losses on these trades because Tesla decided to shoot up. And I actually was right on the trade because the index QQQ, the tech index, Tesla is a tech stock. Tech actually continued to fall down and Tesla shafted me. 
but we don't trade test anymore because I just put it on the block list. Inside my Discord, I have a list of stocks that actually do cooperate the market pretty well. So if you want that, go check it out. Now we can finally talk about trade execution. So this was the trade I took on Thursday. Ended up being 150%, I believe was my final run or I closed out. And look at this big expansionary move we caught on the bigger time frame. We're gonna get into my other trade later, which also was 100% as well. But you can see on the hourly time frame how clean this has been moving. This is why you wanna look at a couple on your watch list every day, because if I didn't see this, I would have never taken it. But I have a bunch of stocks in my watch list that I kind of just chopped through, look on the hourly time frame, gives ourselves a good idea of how the trend is moving and just just so happen to cooperate with the market right now. So seeing this, which you don't see very often, which I will say, um, pretty pretty good green light to go take some shorts too. Establish the trend on an hourly or daily time frame when you need them to collide. Daily and hourly trend were bearish. And also on top of the fact, remember CRM released bad earnings, sending the stock down even more, which also was bearish. Now we look at the NASDAQ, which is a tech index, which Snowflake is a tech company. So we want to see how the overall tech industry is doing right now was also bearish this day. At this point, we have all the green flags and all the green lights to go take a trade. All we need to look for now is an entry. In a situation like this, I would usually just use the two minute and I would look for an entry along the ADMA. I use the ADMA pretty much everywhere. It is a great EMA to catch two minute retest. And when you see a stock like this just dying, you just want to catch entries off the two minute EMA and hope it continues off of that. We ended up catching it right here and it did pump up a little bit right when we entered, but pretty much never saw any drawdown during this trade. Daily trend bearish, hourly trend bearish, overall market conditions bearish. Snowflake is also cooperating with the index right now, which was also bearish. Outside factors like CRM down 20% that day, bearish. Set a checklist for yourself and make sure that all of these are checked off. Let's go to Microsoft. I caught this today, called it out in the Discord. Also another 100% play. This is the hourly time frame. Uh, hmm, I think it looks kind of bearish. This is QQQ today, bearish. QQQ is the tech index, Microsoft, tech company. We all know that. So what's the final step? Finding an entry again. Told you about the two minute. Look, we caught another entry off the two minute. Um, like I said, it was kind of choppy. I almost got stopped out. Ended up just continuing and just following off that EMA. Easy bread. And this is Snowflake again. We spun back on it today for another 100% play. Dropped in the Discord, alerted it. You know, all that fun stuff. Let's go over what I just talked about one more time. And I'm not going to show you the chart again because I already showed it to you. Daily trend, bearish. Hourly trend, bearish. Outside factor, CRM, still down 20%. So bearish. Market, QQQ index, just showed you, bearish. So what's the one thing we have to do that's left? find an entry. ADMA, oh my gosh, we retest the ADMA, we hop in right there. Little choppy, little choppy. That's what happens when you usually find a huge move like this down. We're gonna see some consolidation because obviously we can't just fall down forever. Buyers couldn't get it up and we ended up falling another 100% for the kid. <laughs> and after 300% plays in a row, I end up at $20,000 from $1,000. Now I was over leveraging. I don't recommend you do that too, but like I was saying, this is all started from a thousand bucks. And I, I just want to say everything is rational. I don't want to, you know, flex or anything, but that is not a lot of money to me. So just like how a thousand bucks to me is still a, a little decent amount to Bill Gates is $1, right? So it may be different to you and that's totally okay. I promise you keep sticking with this and maybe you keep watching my videos, you will get to this point. But reminders, I used to trade options for a living. So back in the day, I used to have a $30,000 account. I was taking trades with this much capital. So it wasn't really psychological to me at all or on the mental side, I was totally fine. And all my losses were managed out. I knew exactly how much I was gonna lose if I lost this trade. There's websites out there that you can put your options contracts into and put out at a certain price point and you will be able to tell how much you're gonna lose after the trade. So all these were managed. I knew exactly where I was gonna be stopped out. And the last thing I wanna talk about, which is so important why I said wait till the afternoon is because you wanna be able to catch the trend, okay? And you wanna make sure that you have runners to make sure that happened. I made probably double the amount on my last 10 contracts than I did on my first 40 on this just because of how far this contract ended up going to. Leaving runners is so important. And with the fact that I trade on funded accounts and I've been through the whole drawdown, trailing drawdown and all this stuff, it's very easy to me to manage myself now and taking advantage of not having a drawdown now, I'm just like, all right, bet. I'm gonna let this thing run till I freaking die. If it gets to the point where in the trade, you've already taken a nice amount of profit out and you can just stop yourself out at break even on a losing trade, it's way more efficient to just let it work. And maybe you do get stopped at a break even. Who cares? You already took such a huge W on the trade. Now let's just address this one thing of last at the end of the video is that I did kind of explain this in a very simple way. And I think overall, it's a very simple concept to grasp. I didn't do anything super crazy. I didn't go super technical on you. I just kept it real with you and tell you what exactly what I did. And just understand this, you're not gonna be able to just go and do this tomorrow more than likely, mainly because it'll be Saturday and the market's closed. But when the market is open, usually on the week, you're not gonna see these amazing trend days like I've been and luckily caught the last couple days. You gotta understand, and it's totally on you, that the market is gonna do this again and you're gonna have an opportunity to do exactly what I just did. But you have to be able to know and be able to tell using your technical analysis and using the stuff I just told you about that there's gonna be days where the market's gonna be choppy. It's gonna be very, you know, uh, you don't wanna do that. 
it's up to you to wait till the afternoon and see if the trend is being established, see if there's an opportunity for you to take it. You cannot force yourself into these days, but you need to take advantage of these trend days because when the market's moving like this is where you make the most money and you don't have to do anything for it. Know in the back of your mind that this is not something that happens every single day. You know, I trade every single day of the year because obviously I trade live with you guys. I teach people how to trade. I'm always in my discord, but there's bad days just as much as there's good days. And you have to tell yourself that. If I can't find a setup or even find the trend of the day, I'm not going to alert. I'm not going to trade because I just understand that it's a bad day. Trading every single day of the year, you're already kind of setting yourself up for failure just because that's so hard to do. But if you can manage yourself correctly, which is extremely hard, you can be okay. Let me know in the comments if you want me to try and go to 100K. I really think I should just stop now, but maybe I'll just lighten my position size up and just see if I can do anything good with it. I really appreciate if you guys subscribe. Let me know if you guys want me to make more videos. I know it's been a while, so if you guys show me some love, maybe I'll try and boast more. Have a good weekend.